So we are with Chef Natashai. Natashai, yes. Um, and we got some salmon in Pulaski, New York. And we got the... Liver sir? on liver. Yep. And he's going to make pate with it. Yes. And he will explain how to make it, what you need. So what do we have here besides so, the liver? Okay, That's so... That's the liver and the hearts. We're just going to have the hearts separately uh, as a snack. But the liver will be uh, made as pate. Yeah, so, so we got uh, white onion. White onions. Garlic. Yeah. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Some herbs like uh, rosemary. Rosemary. Fresh oregano. Is the rosemary fresh also? So fresh yes. rosemary, fresh oregano, preferably. Okay. Yep. If you can't find it, then try the dried ones. Okay. Yep. And we got some bay leaves. Bay leaves. And, and what's here? Garlic. Garlic. Yes. And then we have finally butter. Butter. Okay. Yep. So, so yes. let's get to it. He's kind enough now to show us how to make it. Start with butter, we'll melt it. We use a lot of butter because that, this time we got more salmon liver. Yes, last time we had three, I think, uh, pieces. Now we have six. Salmon liver. I mean, you can make it with any fish's liver, monkfish, cod, whatever. So you can just put um, garlic into the butter anytime you want. Yeah. Garlic goes in. Yeah, and do this until like all the butter melt and um, you can smell the garlic. Okay. Until we can smell the garlic. Like you and get aroma of the garlic. Like yep. The fragrance of it. A stir prevent it from burning. Yes. The butter. Yeah. I started smelling yes. it slowly. Yeah. Okay. So now the onions. Now we add the onions. Okay. White onions. Okay. So cook onion until it get translucent. We cook until the onions get translucent. So I might have to cut out some parts of it. Yeah. Or better yet. So now the calabi, uh, not the, the onion, it's getting yeah. soft and translucent and then we put the salmon liver into it. So you put the whole liver? Yeah. We have hearts in there too, but we'll take them out later when yep. we're making the pate actually. Um, and we'll snack on them. Smells good already. Then, now we're gonna cook the the salmon liver in here until it's cooked. Yeah. Through all the way. Yeah. So we we can actually put the uh, fresh herbs right now into it. Yeah. Okay. Oregano. Rosemary. Rosemary and oregano. Go in now. 
fresh bay leaf. Bay leaves. Just crumble into it. Yeah, if you have the fresh ones, it's better, but this is good too. Why you keep stirring like from the edge of the pan because yep, so it doesn't burn, yeah. Yeah. On the edges. And when the liver cooks it hardens so you can tell. Yeah. When it's soft. So we can still raw. actually use the spatula to cut it into pieces. I see. Because we're gonna blend it later. Yeah, we'll blend it anyway, so for easy stirring we can just um, chop it with the um, spoon there or whatever. Whatever you're using. So another thing uh, we forgot to mention, but we are uh, we are doing, is yeah. adding white wine. White wine. Yeah. White wine. Just like this amount, half of like maybe one ounce. Yeah. Okay. White wine right there. You see it? We happen to have Sauvignon Blanc, but hey, if you have different ones, that's fine too. Does this go down here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, at this point we are taking the hearts out. They're, uh, they're cooked enough. We're going to snack on them. And then we'll chop up the liver. When you chop up the liver, it'll be harder to find the hearts in there. There should be six of them. Six. That's four. That's five. One more if you can find it. Here. Right there. Six. Yep, six. We'll snack on those. Put them aside. Cut it up. Maybe. Yep. So at this point, we're cutting it up. That way you can see how, how much it's cooked to. It still needs some in yep. the middle. And also it's It'll be easier yeah. to cook, yeah. Yeah. Easier to chop too, probably blend. Yeah. Mix into the juice. Yeah, nice. So we're adding the black pepper now? Yep. Yeah. That's a good amount. And sea salt or Himalayan salt. Yep. Salt of your choice. Preferably not the processed refined table salt as they call it. Go with some sort of a natural salt. Tastes better. More minerals. Healthier. I think now we can cut the heat. Yep. Turned it down, yep. simmering it. Liver is cooked. Uh, it's everything cooked through. Yep. And um, we're gonna move this into uh, like a saucepan. Yeah. Uh, small pot. Yeah. So we can put like a blender into it. Blender into it, I see. Yeah. Well, depending on the blender. If they have to dump yeah. it into the blender, then they can do that. Or if they have the hand uh, blender that you stick in yeah. the or pot, they can do that. Processor too. Food processor, yes. We basically need to chop this down, yep. mix it, mixer of some sort. So now we are transferring it into a deeper pot. Smells very good and the hearts tasted really good. Okay. 
gonna use this hand blender. Yep. To make to blend it until everything smooth. Yep. Like pate. Yep. We blend it until it's smooth. And that one, that's what makes it a pate too. So we smoothed it out, right? This is basically one, it's spreadable, and now it is. We're done. Yeah. Now, chef, you want to taste it? Okay. Um, we have bread here. If you could get sourdough baguette or French baguette, that would be nice. This is what we had today, and you can toast the bread too. This is fresh. We didn't want to waste any more time, so we're just trying it on fresh slice of bread. Spread it out. You can have it warm, or you can have it at room temperature. We just want to show it for the sake of the video, so we're spreading it now. And um, let's see, see what you think. Accomplished? Yep. Awesome. That's Thank you so much, awesome. Natasha. Thank you so much. Um, now I will shut off the video and I will try it also. So because we use butter in this, if you put it in the fridge, obviously if it's too much when you make it, uh, next day or the day after, whatever, when you're eating it, uh, just take it out a little bit of, a um, little bit in advance so that it comes to at least room temperature, otherwise it might be a little harder to spread it on the bread. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy.